Yo, 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 yo. Uh oh, 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 bam! Oh, what, what is that? The undefeated mind. Pow! Look at that. By uh, Alex Lickerman. It's a horrible ass, horrible ass name. Why, why am I, do, why am I doing that? Bam, Lickerman. Why would you do that? Middle school. Sorry, Lickerman. I'm sure it, it was horrible, and that's probably why. He uh, has developed an undefeated mind because he probably got defeated a lot with a last name, Lickerman, in middle school. Let's get to the book. Uh, the book, man, I get a book four stars. Four, it would have got five, but it got real slow uh, for a couple pages. I was like, J -j 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 -j. towards the end, I was like, all right, all right, all right. But the first, there are ten chapters, and... Uh, the meaning of victory, find your mission, make a vow, blah, blah, blah. All right. Basically, the way he wrote the book is uh, he's a medical doctor, and he's treating clients who have different issues. Uh, the first half of the book, his client is dealing with losing weight. So he talks about uh, some of the uh, the the uh, some of his principles that would help her to lose weight which are, hold on, let's break it down, let's break it down. Uh, look at that. So, chapter one, the meaning of victory. Number two, find your mission, make a vow, expect obstacles, stand alone, accept pain, let go, appreciate the good, encourage others, and muster your courage. So for the first, I say four or five of those chapters, he's dealing with uh, one client, and then the next five, he's dealing with another client who, uh, what, what is she going through? She is depressed. She's dealing with some depression. Um, what I love about this book is that it does have that storytelling style because he's going back and forth between his print, the the you know the ten principles of uh, the undefeated mind, and also dealing with his client. Uh, for the first one, the meaning of victory, he's saying that all victory is is consistently pursuing your goal. That's it. It's not achieving your goal. It's just doing something every day that, or just, or consistently. It doesn't have, you have to be every day, but for the most part, every day. Um, that'll help move you towards your goal. And I think that when we think about moving towards our goal or achieving our goals, we think it has to be this huge undertaking when really it just be just a little, just a little something, just a little nudge. Don't you have to be a little nut? Just maybe a little brush, a little just brush against it. You know what I mean? Just kind of, you just kind of trying to get it. Just, just if it just gets in that direction a little bit, we just turn it up just one degree. That's good. It has to be ten degrees. We ain't got to run fifty miles today. You know what I mean? So the first chapter, uh, what is it? What I say, victory. Yeah, uh, the under victory. Uh, oh, the meaning of victory. Uh, number two, uh, find your mission. And by finding your mission, he's saying, my girlfriend just walked in. That's why you heard the, the keys. Uh, if you heard keys in the background, I don't think that that was your, your thing right there. Um, the second chapter is find your mission. And with that, he's saying, before you even set your goals, you have to know what your purpose is. You have to know why you're doing it. You have to create a mission statement. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, who is the CEO of Facebook and a billionaire, right, not even 30, billionaire, he always wears a hoodie. Everybody sees him in a hoodie. But inside his hoodie, he has his mission statement printed. Not only that, everybody who works at Facebook has the hoodie with the mission statement printed inside. So if a multi-billion dollar company is doing that, why wouldn't you do that? You have to have a mission statement. My mission statement is that I want to educate through entertainment, which is why I do these book reviews, uh, which is why like some of the sketches that I've written – so everything I do, I filter through that. So don't create your goals until you know what your overall purpose is or your mission statement, right? Number two, uh, blah, 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 make a vow, expect obstacles. Make a vow and expect obstacles. Those are great. He's saying make a vow. Uh, it was basically a promise to yourself that you're going to do. See, see, there she is. That's not like a ghost. Don't let that scare you. She's, she's trying to be sneaky. Um, make a vow. Make a vow to yourself or promise a commitment that you are going to do whatever it takes to achieve your goal. 
And what that means is a lot of people put the onus on God or on their partner or uh, on something outworldly or external of themselves to help them get it done. And at the end of the day, it really comes down to you, right? So even if somebody promised you something or said they were going to do something, it still comes down to you. So you have to make a vow that you're going to, you yourself, not God or whoever you worship or anything else, because what happens is, uh, is that they found that <clears throat> people who, who expect their, their religion or some external thing to, to help them or help move them forward, it absolves them of responsibility. They don't feel like they have to work as hard for it. So you have to make that vow. Um, other thing is he says expect obstacles you have to expect and I know these sound simple but people don't how many how many times have you heard people say oh I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that but they never talk about the obstacles they never talk about what might get in the way of them losing weight or uh, writing a book or starting a company or whatever it is and you kinda have to know those things you don't have to know everything of course because nobody knows every obstacle that's gonna come in their way but at the same time, like when you when you watch movies and like the pirate or any explorer is trying to get from point A to point B or, you know, find the goal and they roll out the map, what they're looking to see is what are the obstacles and what are the easiest ways to get from point A to point B. And if you have to be aware of that, especially um, if it's something that you've tried at many times and you keep failing, you have to know what your obstacles are every time so that you don't repeat it and try going over the same mountain, blah, blah, blah. Um, point is, get the book, people. The Undefeated Mind, he has a lot of great, uh, let me see if there's something in here that I want to, uh, preserving, admit confidence, blah, 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 idea. Oh, I think one of the cool things he talks about, um, especially because in the first chapter, like I said, he was talking about losing weight. He talks about willpower and how you only have so much willpower. You don't, people think, oh, I'm just going to will myself. And it's like, no, no, there, you only have, it's, it's like when you play a video game and you see the little energy uh, thing in a corner, right? You only have so much uh, of willpower that's going to get you from A to B. And the things that chip away at your willpower are loss of sleep, um, being hungry, being horny, uh, thirsty, and then there was there was something else. Oh, and multitasking. Multitasking is a huge thing that chips away at your your willpower. So the, my point is is that if if you're not if you're not aware of that and you you don't know that and you're like why do I keep you know uh, you know, uh, why don't you keep running into trouble late at night in terms of either you're spending too much, eating too much, or, or you know, you're on uh, your laptop or social media too much. It's as the day goes on, your willpower wanes. So that's an obstacle. That's something to be aware of. If you don't get enough sleep the night before, then know the next day you're probably going to be craving more carbs or you're probably going to have less of a resolve to get done what you want to get done. So prepare for that. Um, that's, I think that's all I want to say about this, this book. It's a great book. I mean, just show you that I read it. It's got a million of my highlights in there. And the way I read a book is sometimes you don't have to read the whole book. I, I know I do a book report every week, but you really don't have to read a whole book. It's, it's like just, you know, find the chapter that, if you already know what your what your thing is, just find that chapter and then read that chapter and then do whatever the you know the points of that chapter are as opposed to reading the whole book and trying to take it all in at one time. You know, it's kind of like when you take a class, you don't read the whole book the first day of class. You read it chapter by chapter or section by section, right? So, my boy Leo Flowers, the next book review is going to be on the one thing uh, you know, like I said, just one thing, not not a lot of things, and I'll see you guys uh, in a couple of days, or maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll post something tomorrow. See you later.